Hey guys, welcome to the R Station audio, video, and tech channel. I'm Leo, your AV professor, and this is our first video ever. Today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to change your voice in real time while streaming from OBS using free VST plugins. And I'm even going to show you how to allow your viewers on Twitch to trigger these same voice changers by using their channel points. Let's get started. So one thing to keep in mind, we're going to accomplish this today by using nothing but free software. There's a couple videos out there that show how to do voice changing, but there are some limitations and the software's kind of weird, clunky, questionable. I wouldn't install it if I were you. These VSTs are just pure DLL files that we're going to be using today. The other advantage is that we'll be able to apply these sound effects and changers to multiple microphones and multiple sound sources. So if you're a duo streamer team like my wife and I, or you just want to have some fun with a couple other people on your podcast, this is going to work perfectly for you. All right, so the first step is we need to actually download these. If you follow the link in the description below, we're going to go to gvst.co.uk. Go to the download section, and then we're going to scroll down towards the bottom, and we're going to click on the beta plugins page. This is where all the good stuff is. <laughs> no, you're good. On this page, you'll be able to choose from the 32-bit versions of the plugins or from the 64-bit versions of the plugins. The way you know which one to get is by which version of OBS you're running. If you are running the 32-bit version of OBS, 64-bit plugins will not work. If you're running the 64-bit version of OBS, 32-bit plugins will not work. So in order to find out which version of OBS you're actually running, open your OBS, click on help at the top, go to about. So we're using the 64-bit version, so we're gonna download the 64-bit VSTs to match. So the VST that you heard that I used in the beginning of the video where my voice went really high is called a formant pitch shifting VST effect. Basically, you can either tune your voice way up to sound like that. Or you can tune it way down to sound like big ass ham. Uh, the name of that one is called G Form. So go ahead and grab the G Form zip file. It's got the VST plugin inside of it. We're going to save this to my desktop. Pop open the file. I'm going to copy it out of the zip. We're going to go to C drive. This is for 32 bit plugins, this is for 64 bit plugins. And when you go into program files folder, you'll need to create a new directory called VST plugins. Once you create that, just go in there, right click and paste it and you're done. It's going to paste in the gform.dll file and that's installed. It's ready to use. Back in OBS, the way that we apply these VSTs to a particular sound source or device is once you've added your device in OBS, those VSTs will be listed under filters in the right click menu. You can get to it by right clicking on the device here, or you can go to the device sound meter, click on its gear and go to filters here. Either one. So I currently run a noise gate and a compressor here. Feel free to use my compressor settings on your mic and test them out. I plan on doing a full video on compression and limiting to get the most out of your mic and give it a little bit more punch. So under the list of audio filters, we're going to click the plus sign. You're going to click on VST 2X plugin, and we are going to call this pitch bender. It doesn't matter what you call it, pitch shifter. And it's going to ask you to select one of the VSTs that it detects in that VST plugins folder. In this case, we're going to use G-Form. You're going to open the plugin interface, and we are going to turn the pitch all the way up and the formant all the way up. Play around with these. Play around with these knobs. Play around with the tweak section. Just have fun with it. So we got the plugin installed. It's ready to use. The only limitation now is that in order to turn it on and off, you can see we have to go into the filters menu for the device and toggle it on and off using the filter toggle. So that's really inconvenient. Nobody's going to want to pop open their filters menu in the middle of a live stream and turning on and off. So now what I'm going to show you is how we can utilize a channel point system in Twitch and have your viewers spin channel points on different emotes that can actually toggle these filters 
on and off based on a timer for say 20 seconds or five seconds or 10 seconds and give you a notification when it turns on and when it turns off. So let's do that part now. So the magic behind this next part is an app called Leoran Board. If you've never heard of it, it's a super, super powerful piece of software and it bridges notifications from Twitch into OBS and does all kinds of really cool stuff. The guy that wrote it is absolutely brilliant and it can really do some crazy cool stuff for your stream to get it set up go check out nutty's video in the description below he has a really good video on setting up leorn board and getting the basic functions working i'm not going to cover the leorn board setup in this video i'm going to do a different video on that but check out nutty's video check out his whole channel the guy's badass assuming you have leorn board completely set up and connected to both obs and twitch this is what you should be looking at more or less with these three items here in light gray, I guess showing that they're connected. We're gonna create a new test deck. <clears throat> I'm just gonna be my deck eight. Yours will be probably a different number. Now, yes, this interface is horrible, but it is super powerful and it works. No one ever sees this, so it really doesn't matter. This is the grid of buttons or commands or actions or things that can happen events we're going to create a new button and we're going to call this vst baby voice within this cell it's going to accept the channel point command from twitch which we'll get to in just a minute and then it's going to trigger the filter visibility in obs first thing we want to do is right click this button and we're going to add the commands that are actually going to happen once it receives the channel point redemption from twitch we're going to add commands you're going to click the plus and these are all the available commands that we can have it do inside of OBS. There's a ton. There's logic built into here. There's all kinds of really cool stuff. What we're looking for is filter change visibility. We're going to grab the source, which is going to be our microphone. And the filter name that's attached to that microphone, which was pitch bender. We're going to enable that to true and we're going to leave delay to zero. Now I want this to turn off after 15 seconds. So what we're going to do is add another step. Same thing, filter visibility for microphone one. And we're gonna toggle the pitch bender to false mode, but we are gonna add 15,000 milliseconds to the delay. This will happen after 15 seconds. That's how this works. If you want a command to happen immediately, you leave it at zero. If you want a delayed reaction on a command, then you add in by milliseconds, if that makes sense. Now that's great, but if it gets triggered and I'm streaming, how do I know that it gets triggered? What I like to do is I like to add sound effects, a starting activation sound effect and an ending sound effect. So what we'll do here is add a sound effect. We're gonna go and find this sound effect. I've got one that I found online called Baby Voice. They do have to be OGG files. And you can adjust volume, which I like to make at 100. It's going to happen immediately. This is what it's going to sound like. Anytime I hear that sound, I know my baby voice filter has been enabled and it's time to perform and have some fun. Now, what I want it to do is also give me an alert sound when it's finished so I know when I can stop talking and goofing around. So I have another one called Ding Ding, and I'll put these in the description below for you guys. Feel free to use them. It's another bell that I found. This one sounds like this. And every time I hear that, I know it's time to stop. So we wanted it to last 15 seconds. So when the command gets triggered, you'll hear the baby voice. The filter will toggle. After 15 seconds, it's gonna stop and you're gonna hear that right there. So now we need to connect channel point redemptions into Leoran board. And the way we do that is you right click on the button, we're gonna add Twitch triggers. You're gonna click the plus sign and we are going to do point redeems. The redeem name is gonna be the exact name of the channel point message. And I'll show you what we mean in just a second. We're gonna name this one Hydro Baby Voice exclamation point. The spelling has to be exact or it will not trigger properly. On the other end of things, we're going to go here. You're going to go to your creator dashboard. You're going to go to community, channel points, manage rewards and challenges. You're going to scroll down 
and you're going to add new custom reward. This is where the spelling of your reward twitch trigger in Leorn board needs to be exactly the same. So we had called our twitch trigger Hydro Baby Voice exclamation point with capital letters and you would type that exactly here. You can put a description if you want, choose a color, and enter the amount of points that you want the custom reward to cost. Once you're finished, go ahead and click create. And now you should have a working channel point reward. You can test this by going to your own channel, going into the chat section, and since you, the owner of the channel, has unlimited channel points, you can test these. Make sure the orange board is running. They won't work unless it's running. So go ahead and find your channel point redemption that we had just created. Click on it. Hit redeem, and you should end up with something like this. Runert's toast is dead. How's Kaylin doing? Uh-uh. There oh, we God. go. Now we're talking. Uh, he's gonna Get use. Out. Oh my goodness. Darcy. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I got baby boys. Oh, Nyanza. Kaylin's doing well at the moment, he says. I'm going to drink my tequila. Well, I mean, no, was never was a bad. Mm. Dead. I don't know what to do. Like, I can't even sell a piece of cloth over there, dude. We have 500 sheep. 500 something sheep in those pens. And I'm struggling every day. Every day I sell them sheep. It's a rough life. It's well, a rough life. Runner, but I'm just saying. It was uh, okay. Life is like a hurricane here in the bird. Race cars, lasers, airplanes. It's all in the blur. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, hit the like button. And if you want to see more upcoming content, subscribe to us. Hit that notification bell. You know the drill. If you didn't like it, Hit the dislike and let me know how I can improve for you guys. This is our first video ever. Got a lot more content coming up. Next video, we're going to do all about audio compression and limiting and how I can improve even a crappy microphone and make it sound really, really good. Come by and hang out with us on Twitch. We stream on Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and Saturdays at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. We play all kinds of stuff from MMORPGs to first-person shooters to couch gaming, classic retro games. So we'd love to have some fun with you. Hang out. Until next time. Game hard, love harder, experience everything.